Greetings and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. I'm Catherine of Sky, and uh, we bring you this program in the midst of playing. So uh, I didn't intend to record another episode of this, but I just noticed today that there was an update and uh, you'll notice the visuals of the forest where we're in have changed a tiny bit. There's like little alcoves and there's actually trees in this forest instead of just pathways, which is kind of nice. There's a couple little gardens and things. Um, but remember I said that uh, the knife was like my least favorite item? Uh, anyway, I've been going through and just trying to get the achievements, basically trying to uh, you know, get, uh, you know, evolve all of the weapons. And then the knife was the next one of choice. And so I've been playing Gennaro, uh, and I've, I'm in a really cool run and I wanted to show it to you. So I have evolved the knife and on the, um, I'm going to actually ask them to change this, but on the steam guide, by the way, it does say knife plus gloves. What they actually mean is bracers. They kind of look like gloves, but they're actually the bracers that you need to evolve the knife. But what the bracers do and make it makes the knife have no delay, as is the tooltip. But it's basically fires continually, and it is a weapon. Look at this. This is absolutely nuts here. So I'm kind of like, wow, that's fun. But anyway, yeah, obviously killing a lot of stuff. You can see some of the new areas, like this is a little garden down here. So I'm trying to get, uh, let's see, garlic, we need to get to level 8. So that can evolve, but as soon as we kill another boss, we should have it, because I already have the item needed for the clover, or for the uh, garlic. Let's see, armor, let's go clover here. Uh, but yeah, this is a murder weapon. Look at this. Nuts, man. Just absolutely nuts. So, But I need to focus on just going toward places where we have lots of XP. Let's see, lightning ring? Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, armor? Axe, armor. The axe is also amazing when it's evolved. Let's see, let's get some more armor. Get the cross, trying to evolve the cross as well. Let's see, the cross needs the clover, which I already have some, obviously. Oh, crucifix, nice. That kills everything on the screen. Oh, XP magnet, I'll take it. Oh, there's a boss died over there. Cool. So lightning ring, lightning ring cannot be evolved, but that's okay, I'll go for it anyway. Seems very cool. All right, let's get this. Hopefully we evolve our garlic into the soul eater. This is pretty exciting. I'm, I'm having such a good run. I just wanted to share this with you, by the way, so that you could kind of see some craziness in, in happening here. Okay, soul eater, hooray, we got it. This is great. Soul eater does damage. Like if you look at the, um, you know, the after game stats and stuff, soul eater is crazy good. Okay, let's go wings. I really don't want to increase the pool of items. Again, I've been watching the, um, you know, when we ever, whenever we get, uh, you know, a box, meaning, you know, a box of fun stuff from uh, a boss, it does seem like every time it is an upgrade, it's never a new item. So, so if you want to keep, so I guess you could, you kind of want to keep your item pool small in a way uh, so that, you know, you're really focused on what you're getting damage on and stuff like this. This is absolutely crazy. I have changed my mind about the knife. This is fun. Uh, Gennaro, of course, has this really nice effect. Also, uh, with the knife blades, you probably noticed them. They pass through one more enemy. I don't know if they pass through how many in general, but they do, yeah. Rune Tracer is actually a really great weapon as well, so I want to get that. But Gennaro has, you know, one natural extra projectile, plus I also have, I bought the, oh yeah, there's some, these, these beast things in the forest. They actually block your way, so do be careful about walking near them, because, yeah, rough stuff. But, um... Yeah, I, I did get that upgrade finally for 6,500 coins, which is expensive, but hey, works. All right, I'm going to clear a path out of here. Oh, I didn't want to eat that food, but it's okay. Keep going on Rune Tracer here. Rune Tracer 
pretty I think it's universally the item that does the most damage in my runs. Uh, I try to play with a lot of the different weapons. Like, for example, I think that the lightning strike uh, sometimes competes with that. I don't tend to play with Peach 1 a lot. Oh, let's see. Did we get anything good? Um, and also the Bible is kind of iffy. I don't often get a chance to use it. Oh, we got wings. All right. Not too bad. All right, let's go. But look at these knives. Holy crap. They're just like completely sawing through every single enemy here. I just normally these vampire bats always get me at this stage of the game and I have never gotten past this this stage really where the ba vampire bats come after you so this is pretty exciting for me it's like wow all right also the werewolves have also always also been dangerous for me but this is like I'm actually just chainsawing through them all okay let's go rune tracer Wow. Uh, keep in mind if you want to, you, I think you can you can position yourself diagonally so that you cut a diagonal line if you want to. Oh boy, this is getting thick. I think I'm going to try to cut upwards and through. Boy. All right. I want to have some other stuff to do some work here. So we can just, oh, okay. Be careful. Be careful. Don't get complacent here. Not so much complacent, but like, I don't know what the word is. The word is not that. That is not the word. But yeah, these enemies have some serious HP. I'm going to just try to get out of here. A little bit less dense area, if possible. I'm trying to like cut through. Oh, there's a little boss there. Nice. There are two bosses here. Okay, so let's go Rune Tracer. Oh my god, we're surrounded by by these guys. Holy fuzzy cats. That's nuts. Okay. Get that little boss up there. All right. Yeah, this is such a weird state of, of doing things here. Feels kind of bad because like you can't really move around very much to, to collect XP, but I'm just trying to gently, gently kill things. Yeah, killing me softly. <gasps> no! Oh no, I got killed. I didn't see that guy eating on me. Darn it. Okay, well, we evolved the knife. So that's good. That's progress. Hey, cool. All right, got the knife. So I think, I almost wonder that if more achievements were also added. Uh, so I need Peach 1. Um, recover a total of 1,000 HP. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the game before. Earn 5,000 coins in a single run. I hadn't seen that one either. Uh, I don't know what hyper mode is. Let's see. Uh, we need to defeat a couple of enemies in different areas. Blue Venus. That, that actually was a really good run there. Evolve the Magic Wand. Cross King Bible. And unite the Ebony Wings and Peach 1. I have no idea how to get the Peach 1 or how to get the ebony wings. I'm guessing they either come from, maybe we need to just work on peach one. Uh, you know, basically get it to level seven, wherever that was on here. Anyway, uh, that might unlock the ebony wings. Also, I have no idea where the stone mask is. Still have not found it in any of uh, those areas that I've been kind of looking at. Let's see, let's try to go, maybe we go with peach one. Let's try uh, Poe here. Uh, Poe starts with garlic, so really great in the Mad Forest. Uh, because the bats, well, I guess all of the stages have their particular... Uh, they're, they're enemies that don't do a lot of damage, or, or don't have a lot of HP. Here's one of those gardens. Uh, I kind of wish that it started on a random part of the map, because I feel like every time it starts, at the, it's at the same spot. Um, okay, we want to kind of, I think we're going to work on the garlic. As in, get it up to snuff here. Uh, for the major killer, we either want lightning or peach, or not peach one, but uh, lightning or the rune tracer. Those are great for killing enemies in random chunks. Giving us a little bit of space to walk around and that kind of thing. 
really not doing well on generating XP here with these uh, bats. Let's leave. let's go let's go to the left here to see if we can find some new areas. Oh, Peach One, hooray, cool. So Peach One is is kind of a weird one as as you see. It's like a kind of like a fighter jet, you know, sending missiles out there. Oh, that was a bad thing to do. I got a little bit too cocky here with the with those zombie things. I keep forgetting you can't just walk through them at this stage. I guess I could try to put the boss in that area. It's very difficult to, <laughs> especially since the uh, the enemies keep following me as well. Let's see if I can get that boss in there. There we go. Yep. Yep, it didn't do much damage. I almost think that just trying to focus it with the garlic is better. Okay, let's get the rune tracer. Also, uh, let's see, for leveling... Uh, peach one, we can't level peach one, but the cross needs the clover, uh, not cross, the garlic needs the pumarola. So if we see a pumarola, oh wow, we might not survive this very long. Let's fix this. Let's fix our bad, bad stuffs. There we go. There we go. There's a chicken dinner. Okay, very good. Two chicken dinners. All right. <clears throat> Oh, I love those XP fests over there. Okay, let's go. Let's go Rune Tracer. Garlic is always so nice. Love this. Probably my favorite thing in the whole game. Let's go Rune Tracer. I I'm very tempted to get the the knife. The knife is actually really good for running out out into the world and doing stuff. As in, you can walk... So, normally, you're walking away from enemies. As in, that's why I thought the knife was not very useful. Because it's like, well, you know, if you're walking toward with the knife, it's quite slow in general. Okay, let's get the peach one. And hope we can get Pumarola in another setup. Um, but yeah, with that, it's it's really handy to actually like create pathways where you want to go. And like when we had all those werewolves and things, that was, yeah, really, really useful. All right, let's see. I'll try to get this little boss here. Ooh. Those are getting awfully close. Okay, do we need any of these? Hollow Heart is for the whip. Um, Candelabra door or Candelabra is for... What is it for? Uh, it has to be for something. Candelabra. Whip. Why am I not seeing it on this guide? Maybe it's not. Oh, it's it's for the axe. Sorry. The axe also is pretty cool. Um, let's see. What do we have here? We can get... Let's get the Bible because we haven't done a lot of runs with the Bible. And that could be actually quite good for trying to kill this, this little bat over here. All right. Let's go down here. Just do a little bit of stuff here. Good, good. Try to aim it as much as we can here. Okay, the bracer, again, is for the knife. Um, I try to remember it as, like, uh, you know, a thief in the night would have gloves on, you know. That's a good kind of easy association that you can have for trying to memorize which one goes with which. Let's see, we'll go, I guess we can go with the Bible again, maybe. Look at how nutsy it is already. That's a little bit wild. Unfortunately, the uptime is not ideal. Okay. 
Uh, I am worried about damage, though, with all the other stuff. So far, with all of the combinations that I have tried on this map, only that crazy knife thing has actually done enough work to to get, you know, for me to survive that vampire bat stage and actually get further than I ever have before. So I don't know. I don't know if I need more, like, meta upgrades or something. Like, maybe some damage upgrades or... Or AoE or something like that. I wonder if the knives have an AoE effect. Like, do they chop a wider area or something? Because that I don't know. So let's see. Wow, we have all the things. Let's get the garlic up. Because I would like to evolve these guys. I should have gotten the peach one because that's the achievement we're going for. I forgot if that one was on there or not. Golly gee. Okay. Oh, God, I'm getting very sloppy right now with this. I really need to not do that. Sloppy is not a good look for, for this right now. We can try to get through here. It's going to cost us. No, it didn't cost us any health. That's good. Let's just go up here and I want to try to find a, a brazier with some health. Or find some just food on the ground. That works as well. Okay, let's stick around this little... Uh, this one. Well, this is just hidden in the middle of stuff. I'm there's no way I'm getting that one out now. Maybe with Peach One. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Did a little bit of damage there with our little dove, crazy dove. That was a nice hit with the Rune Tracer. I find this stage kind of boring and kind of not very fun, I have to say. The whole, like, I don't really have a lot of damage to deal with those uh, green people. Alright, let's go with the garlic here. I want to try to draw them away from that box. But yeah, we're only starting to get into this stage of having like these little zombie guys and the people in purple um, so that I can actually get some stuff going on. Okay, so let's see. What's in the treasure box? Yeah, I got Ms. Matrix hooked on this game as well, so that's extremely naughty of me. But we're having fun playing it. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go... The Bible is good, but man, it just doesn't have enough uptime, unfortunately. Kind of wish it, like, didn't go away. Maybe that's what the uh, evolving would help with. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, I want these. <gasps> no, I don't want them that bad. Oh, that was just dumb. That was greed right there. So even though we had Rune Tracer for the... Almost the least amount of time, it did so much damage. That's really nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, still looking for that Peach One achievement. Let's let's try Gennaro again. I want to go with the knife thing, and maybe we'll go with the uh, Peach One. Hopefully we'll get it early, but we'll see. So this is what I mean. is like If I charge these bats, uh, they, they get closer to me very quickly, you know? So there is this kind of stage where like it's a little bit rough especially the beginning hopefully we can find some some other weapons oh okay that hurt ow oh man and I'm getting so hyped for Lost Ark oh it's gonna be great it is going to be so much fun to play. I have a I have a small group of my friends that we're going to play together and it's just we're already like okay, this is the server we're going to be on and then we're going to like uh, you know, choose names and that's that's the main thing. One of the things that I didn't like that I heard about is the way they're doing names on the server. So like you can't just create a dummy character to reserve the name. Um like if you want it on another character, 
if you delete that character, it doesn't automatically delete the name from the database, right? Apparently that has to happen is some kind of a manual thing that they do periodically. So it's like, you can't even reserve a name for yourself. I'm like, wow, that's weird. Cause I know some people are very particular about the names they have for their characters. Uh, let's go right lightning ring. I really want a big AOE thing that I can just do. I really also want some garlic. Jeez, there's all these bats and I have no garlic. It's really rough. Uh, but you can see the knives are already starting to get much more powerful. And a lot of this is because I have the upgrade, the one that I bought that remember I was saving money for. Um... That is totally worth the investment, I feel. I mean, it's like totally, totally worth it. I definitely am happy with that purchase that I made. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything else, especially since like if you buy some cheap upgrades, which is what I did initially, like for 200 a piece, there's like a couple that you can get for cheap. Um, the problem, oh wow, that's murderous. Wow, that's bad. So right now I feel like really behind because I don't have, um, I don't have the garlic to survive this or get XP fast enough. Okay. What do we do here? I guess magic wand. I'm also missing the achievement for, so we might as well. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, well, but we're, we're pretty excited about the thing other than that particular aspect of things. I'm going to go ahead and get the Pumarola here just in case we make it to actually getting the garlic, which we don't even own one garlic yet, but it's good to plan, you know, make sure that you have the right items when you see them. I keep the, uh, that guide up in my monitor, just on the second screen. And, uh, just to make sure that I know what I need for stuff. So I advise you to do the same. All right, let's go lightning ring because I feel like we need the damage. We need, we need the killing power of the lightning ring. Uh, also, if there are bracers, we need to get those and make sure that we can get those to evolve these knives. Let's see. Magic wand. Let's go magic wand. Also, I think I misspoke in, in one of the other videos. There's an achievement for getting like certain weapons to level seven. But when you evolve them, they have to be actually level eight. And that is visible in the uh, the screen where you're upgrading stuff. I'll show it to you uh, next time we have an upgrade. Let's see. Let's just position myself this way. There we go. And just grab some of these coins. Okay, so up here you can see in the upper left... These squares denote the upgrade status. Um, you can uh, level them up beyond that, but you have to fill all the squares and there are eight squares in order to upgrade. So let's see, lightning ring, sure. Let's get that, but I am feeling kind of, I don't know. I feel behind already because we don't have that garlic yet. It feels really like, okay, that would be nice to get this. Because, like, not only do we not have the garlic, we don't have any levels on the garlic. It's like, whoa. I mean, that may be obvious, but it also feels like... I'm, I think that the ramping up in difficulty has to do with time. Like, how long you've been playing. Like, it's four minutes now. So, let's do knife. And if you play too long without getting the correct upgrades, then you have problems. You know? Then you're not going to be able to scale it fast enough. So, uh, a lot of it is down to your gameplay, you know, how fast you collect the, uh, you know, the XP on the ground and that kind of thing. So, and then, you know, it's also due to, you know, also the killing power of, of your weapons that you've chosen. Let's go wand again. 
Let's see if we can get this boss here. And get lucky with the chest. Because the boss chests can have, you know, so far I've seen up to five different items. This is going to have one item. But it's still a free item. You know, we don't have to go and get XP for this. Oh, well, lightning ring. I'll take it. Lightning ring is such a good item. It is one of my favorite, um, like, mass killing things or random killing. Of, well, I call it random because it's, like, in the field around. It's not, like, directed where I can, like, I can point these uh, knife blades at an enemy to kill stuff. There we go. I'm just going to walk around and get some XP until we see some enemies that drop... Uh, or are easier to kill. I guess they're not too bad, these. They're not too good either. Okay, so let's see. Let's go again with Magic Wand. Now, Magic Wand, let me pause for a second. Magic Wand needs the Empty Tome. So if we see that one again, I guess I should have gotten it before because I know that we've seen that already, uh, but I did not pick it up. I'm, I'm right now, like, I'm, sometimes I'm not even looking at the description of what stuff does. I'm just like, okay, do we need this for evolving? If not, we don't take it. <laughs> it's such a strange, like, ever since I got to be aware of that particular part of, of the game, it's like, all of a sudden it just doesn't matter, you know, whatever the other effects are. But that, that should not be your primary concern, I guess. Um, but I guess it should, it depends, you know. So let's grab some of this stuff. There we go. Getting some lightning going on here. There's not a lot of uh, XP on the ground, unfortunately. Uh, also be aware that these places, you can't walk on top of those walls they are actually walls even though they look like plants okay let's just get this uh it's very very dangerous to to be in there because you can get trapped so just be aware of that yeah like right there like in if i had the oh boy if i had garlic then i could just like get so much xp from these bat Bat mines. Bat mines, that's what they are. They're mining. We're mining XP from them. And here I'm running away, which is basically not killing anything in that direction, which is unfortunate. So I'm kind of relying on the magic wand to do a little bit of work for me there. Um, I really wish I had some garlic because, man, this is rough without garlic. I almost feel like I should always start with garlic on this map uh, with the, I forget what his name is. Uh, but there's a character who starts with garlic. Okay, let's go. Let's see, knives. Let's get the bracer because we need it to evolve the knives. I forgot to check how what our evolution is like at the knives right now or what our uh, levels are there. So we should, uh, we should check that next time. Okay, let's walk around and get some XP. Let's not worry about that boss right now. It's just such a strange trade-off, too, with that. You know, like, you can, like, either focus focus the boss and stand still and do not much. Or, oh, okay, we're level 6 knife. That's perfect. Or you can walk around and actually get XP and get more items. Though sometimes, obviously, this is worth it. Look at this. Three items here. I guess it's always worth it to, to go for the boss. But sometimes they do take quite a while to kill. Okay, we got the Pumarola, which is great. I don't know if we had that before. Uh, we did, Oh, we must have had it because this doesn't give us new items. Okay, so we got Lightning Ring at 6, Knife at 7. Only one more level on the knife, and then we can evolve it. All right, level 2 on the Health Restoration. Very nice. Okay, very cool. But I really need that garlic to have that same kind of effect that we had earlier. Uh, because I feel like that's kind of... You know, killing stuff from the side. Uh, otherwise, we have not ideal situation. All right, so let's get the Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer is always good. Yeah, again, we have three projectiles. One of them is from that upgrade for 6,500 coins. 
And then of course he has his own extra thing and then we have the base damage. So this really levels up your game, I feel. Like just having three projectiles right from the get-go, right as soon as you pick up a new weapon. It's it's kind of nuts. It's pretty good. Good stuff. Looks like the bushes also stop projectiles, even if the projectiles can go through. All right, let's see. Base speed up. I think we go with lightning ring here. Oh, Rune Tracer trying to do some stuff here. All right, at least the lightning ring fired off there. Got some decent stuff. I wonder if I should work on like thinking about okay let's just point in the direction of the bats otherwise we're gonna have some issues yeah we are able to kill some of these vampire bats but it's not like uh it's not instant that's for sure oh that was beautiful all right let's keep on going keep on killing all these enemies oh we got a little bit in danger there Try to push this boss up. Okay, there we go. Rune Tracer. Let's take it. Oh, whoops. What happened there? We didn't open the box. Okay. One thing that you can do is you can actually save these boxes. Like, um, I, I sometimes I have saved them for if I think I can get... Well, all we need is one knife upgrade, for example. Okay, so lightning is good. Lightning ring is a happy time. Let's just get some items here. I'm just going to kind of do some circling here. Ooh. Let's throw some knives at that praying mantis boss. I am a bit worried. So it looks like there's some things. I'm just going to get out of here. Really dangerous to be in any kind of enclosed space. And sometimes uh, at the beginning of that uh, enclosed space, you know, the flower ring, you have the ability to get out like then. I had enough HP, but then sometimes it kind of wears you down and it's like, okay, I wasted my opportunity. I can't get out now. So just keep aware of that and just be really smart about this when you're thinking about stuff like that. Oi, this is rough. Okay, I'm going to try to just get through here. So this is part of the problem with um, with the just having knives and nothing to clear the side. Okay, so here we have it. We finally got the knife upgrade. We should get the treasure right now. We should get that knife upgrade, and that is going to make our lives a lot better. Here we go. Okay. Thousand Edge Evolved Knife fires with no delay. Okay, here we go. And we're basically just shooting knives everywhere. It's kind of great. Kind of great. Definitely great. Just going to shoot where we're going, which is kind of cool. Looks like um, uh, base speed up would be also nice. That means more damage. Basically 10% more damage on the knives. Because they fire faster, they they since there's no delay, yeah, it's good stuff. So Rune Tracer, I think we're gonna take Magic Wand though, because we wanted to evolve that as well. And again, I think for the Magic Wand we needed that empty tome. Jeez, all I have to do is like point in a direction for a few seconds, and we get like masses of stuff here. All right, Magic Wand, let's go. We still need the empty tome, by the way, for that. We may try to focus that on the next couple of upgrades if possible okay let's get this boss oh peach one finally makes an appearance okay we're not gonna we're not gonna try to to get that one i think because that, that's like far away okay now we're getting some werewolves which i think they're a bit more tanky than the skeletons so we'll see Okay, magic wand at eight, very good. Now we need to find the empty tome in order to evolve that. I should get out of this area with this garden. I, I picked it kind of because it's like, 
hey, there's a garden there. It looks nice. But in terms of gameplay, it just really does impede your progress and it's not, not very good. Because you could die quite easily on that. Okay, base speed. That's sure. We'll take another 10% damage. Thank you very much. 10% on the knives anyway. I guess for other things it also is goes faster. So let's see. Hollow heart or armor. I think we take the speed again. You might wonder why I'm not going for a more sort of defensive build. And I feel like in general the best defense is offense in many cases. So just kind of going on that philosophy of stuff. So this is getting really hard because like... You can cut a path, but it's a narrow path. You can definitely feel that. I also don't really want to go this far north, but I... I... Because there's so much XP down there, but I feel like I don't have a choice, really. I feel like I definitely don't have a choice. I kind of have to just push through and go to a safer place where there's less mobs. Or there are less mobs, not theirs. Goodness. I don't know why we make mistakes in English sometimes like this. Or at least I do. There we go. Oh, boss. Let's go with this boss here. We're just kind of murdering it, which is nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Again, we need the empty tome in order to get the other thing evolved. Pumarola, all right. More HP per second. Not very much, but something at least. Okay. Let's see if we can get through here. This is gonna be dangerous. Ow. I feel like the vampire guys, we really can't kill them very well at all. Alright, let's see. Right now, this is really difficult because it does cost very much XP to get to the next level. Um, and we can't really go back right now, which is unfortunate. Um, maybe I can go to the side. No, that is not a good idea. Get out of here. Don't screw up like this. Let's see. Would love to... So we haven't even got one garlic yet. That is really rough. I would really like this to slow down a bit. Can we have a bit of a break from all these re really high HP mobs, please, game? Or is this just going to be our lives now? This feels very bad. Okay, greed. Okay. Empty tome. Here we go. Now we need a boss. Uh, also, I have no idea how we can possibly do a boss right now with this current way of the game fighting us. It feels very unlikely that we'll be able to be in the same area for very long to be able to get this boss uh, sorted. Because this is just like endless mobs and this, this is really kind of scary right now. I wonder if those big werewolves are actually bosses. I can't tell. Here's the little boss. Please? Oh, no. Oh, yes! Oh, my God. We got it. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. What did we get now? I can't remember what we got, actually. I think it's a magic wand. Oh, my God. We got three items. Okay, magic wand. Fancy, fancy. Another empty tome. And another Pumarola. Okay, fires with no delay. Okay. Not the greatest, but it's good. It's damage. It is doing work. Look at this. It's just shooting all over the place. That's kind of crazy looking. All right. Oh, game. I'd love to be able to, like, circle around a bit. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll just try to go to the side here. And then go down and see if that's a possibility. 
because there's got to be quite a lot of XP down here. Oh, look at that. The, the mob is not as big as I thought it was. That's good, I guess. Okay, so we are slowly killing some of these enemies, but boy, this is kind of rough. I would really have loved to have like some, like the, uh, the magnety thing thing. Oh, here we go. Here's a boss. Another boss. Oh, wow. All the enemies have disappeared. What the heck? It's a bit crazy. Okay. So let's see. Rune tracer or duplicator. I think duplicator. Duplicator so good. Oh, there's a bunch of XP up here. I mean, I guess it doesn't make that much difference, like, on this, uh, on, on the knives, because we have so many knives already, but, uh, definitely gonna make some difference on the rune tracer. We now have four stars instead of three. So, an extra percent of damage is yay. Alright, let's check what we got in here. Free stuff box. Alright, I'm gonna make my way down south. Uh, because I think there's a lot of XP there that we don't have yet. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Also, it looks like these other enemies are giving, uh, sometimes giving some green XP, which is nice. Oh, there's a boss. Let's kill that if we can. Jeez, so quick to kill those bosses. Wow, we got something. It says treasure found, but I don't know what... Uh, that means we get five. All right. Awesome. Oh, this is so good. Getting five is fun. Okay. So we got the tome, another duplicator, more gauntlets, another empty tome. I forgot what the empty tome does. Okay. Base speed up by 10% on the bracer. Uh, that's good. Cool down reduction by 10. Oh, <laughs> that's nuts. Okay, cool. I wonder if that applies to the knives as in they'll still fire faster, 8% faster. Okay, Pumarola again, and okay, cooldown reduction. So two cooldown reductions. That's nice. That's a bit crazy, crazy good. So we went up for quite a long time. So I'm going to see if we can just go down a bit and, and get stuff. Wow, we even killed bosses along the way and we didn't even notice. Okay, I'm going to get the Attract Orb. Oh, garlic! Finally! Holy fuzzy cats. All right. Hollow Heart. Uh, let's see. Laurel is always nice. Let's get the Laurel. That's randomly good. Crown is good. Garlic again. I See, now this is where I don't understand. Where are we getting these things from? Where is this coming from? Rune Tracer... Garlic again. Like, where does that come from? It, it happens every now and again in a game. And it's just like, huh? Uh, let's get a crown. I feel guilty taking the attract orb because it's like, it is very useful, but it feels bad taking it over some damage instead. So it's weird. I have guilt taking the attract orb. Usually I only take it if there's like some you know, AOE up or something like that. Wow, or did we already come back down here? Wait, did did stuff off the screen despawn? Because I'm feeling like it might have, because I don't think we got that much XP as we were coming back down. I'm pretty sure we had more, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm completely wrong. That could be as well. But I know, I'm noticing like a much higher quantity of green uh, XP thingies. I'm gonna try to go like back and forth and see if I can get stuff going on here. Okay, Rune Tracer or Crown. Thinking maybe garlic, let's get the garlic. I love the garlic. I want to get the soul eater, really. Let's just go here. Yep, 
Yeah, very few enemies, but they are dropping green, which I kind of tend to think like it's probably like double, double the blue. Green is double the blue and maybe red is triple. Oh boy, the smush is real. That's not good. That's very scary. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Let's get the attract orb as well there. Okay, I need to look for chicken dinners. This is really rough here because, like, we have, um, yeah. Man, you think bats are great, but man, when they push stuff around you, it's suddenly a little bit more scary. Wait, maybe well, there was another one of those things. Huh. I'm now confused about that slightly. Can we go back down here? Let's go back down. Kind of, I'm low key looking for some. Oh, we have flowers again. Darn it. Uh, wow, there's stuff now. Let's get the garlic again. Uh, looking for some braziers. That's what I was going to say. I think I forgot to finish my sentence there. Look at all of this crazy flowerness. Like, all these flowers are just in a complete mess. Wow. I'm just gonna like just machine gun my way out of here. Machine gun with knives. That sounds pretty scary. Sounds pretty intense. There we go. Okay. Now there's flowers everywhere? Is that meant to be? Is this a boss also? I kept wondering if these like Bigfoot guys. Are they Bigfoots or are they like mummies? It's hard to tell. Anyway, they're probably a mummy, but I they look like Bigfoot to me. <laughs> they look a little bit shaggy. So, yeah. Alright, what did we get? Oh, we got a thing. Oh, what did we get? Is that the... Oh no, it's the orb. Okay, sorry. I got all excited. It looks a little bit like the uh, the garlic upgrade, but I didn't think we had enough stuff to upgrade that yet. All right, let's take care of that boss. So anyway, the big uh, mummy or Bigfoot guy was actually a boss. That's good to know. Oh, three more items. This is really crazy good. Let's go, go, go. I'm ready. Crown, awesome. Orb, awesome. Tome, I keep forgetting. Is that the cooldown reduction? Yeah, nice. More damage. I is happy like damage. Damage is great. Great for the gaming. Oh yes. So it looks like we now have flowers everywhere. That is not ideal. I am not a fan of this, obviously. I hope they go away. But yeah, I'm not really seeing a lot of XP around either. I feel like I'm not getting any XP at all. And these these enemies really take many, many hits. Many, many hits. So there's some over here. Maybe I'll go to like previous XP farm area and just grab it. Rune Tracer, let's go. Rune Tracer does a lot of damage. It's a good, 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 good item. The scary thing is if I just stand there and hit stuff, uh, stuff can come in from the side and then kill me. Let's get this boss. There we go. Okay, open the box. I hope I get something to level, like like the uh, Soul Eater. Oh, okay, Laurel. Not too bad. That's always a nice thing to have, even though it's extremely random. That's one of the things that like makes the game hard to rely on is like these random stuffs like the shield isn't always active, you know. It feels a bit strange to to think about those. I I'm more like, okay, if I have to sneak between enemies, I will be lucky if it's on. That's how I look at it basically. Oh wow. 
this is a bit of a mess. Like, I feel like I'm making very little progress. I really need the, um, may I guess maybe I don't have the ability to get more items. I think once you fill up this thing, you can't have any more. So we're kind of in a bad spot right now. Like I would have loved to have the other thing that gives you more damage increase, but yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll get a crown. Keep on going with that. But I, I feel like that 10% damage increase would be so good right now. Now that we've gotten things settled, I guess that makes you kind of have to choose like right from the outset, like what your strategy is going to be. Uh, and maybe try to save space for another item. So I'm pretty sure that happened to me in a previous run where I was going to try to evolve stuff. Um, but I couldn't get, I was going to evolve the magic wand and I had enough, but I could never get that empty tome. And I'm wondering if it didn't offer it to me because I was already full on items. So that's a bit of a sad thing, I think, because I, I wish you could have like, uh, whatever you wanted. I mean, and I don't understand how, well, I guess it, it's just, it, it it's going to just keep on upgrading and upgrading each item, uh, rather than like. I was like, huh, I wonder what it's going to, what it's going to do after you run out of slots, but it's just going to keep on upgrading the same items. Basically, I think, <gasps> oh, Hey, that's the boss we need to kill. I think the one that there's an achievement for looks like the other weapons are keeping this stuff at bay, but man, that boss is tanky. Okay. We got the, we got it. Got a box, three items. Beautiful. Look at all those lilacs, or not lilacs, but they're like tulips or something coming and attacking us. Purple tulips. All right, we got garlic, which maybe means that we have level eight. We're close anyway. Okay, Laurel is at three. Um, Orb is at five. All right, level six on the garlics. We still need two levels on the garlic. Uh, here we go. Let's take that because I definitely want it. Okay, some flowers have delete decided to delete themselves, which is good news for us. Cause man, but man, this this is bullet hell. <laughs> um, well, yeah, kind of. Not hell for us. Hell for the plants. Bullet hell for the plants and enemies. Now it seems like we're able to like create space, which is kind of good. I mean, really good. I shouldn't say kind of good. I, sh I should not, absolutely not be coy about my delight in this situation because it is very good. Oh, look at this. It's so easier to see. Interesting. Okay. I just feel like there's no XP anywhere. Where is it all? Is my orb... Oh, my orb is probably just way too big, I'm guessing. And, like, we don't even see it hit the ground because it... Yeah, it gets it from everywhere. Look at how far. It's, like, way outside the circle. That's pretty great. That's pretty actually great, actually, because it makes us, like, not have to think about this. And we can go trolling toward the north and see what else we can get. Okay, let's get Rune Tracer. Sure. Rune Tracer, alas, cannot be evolved yet. I'm hoping that, you know, one, one thing that I would really love to see in the game is the ability to not have to look up the evolutions. Like, I want that to be in the game. I really am annoyed when games don't have the information in the game. Like, Path of Exile is very much that way, where it feels like you have to look stuff up on the wiki because... The mechanics are not very well explained, like, you know, how each of the affixes work and that kind of thing. And it's, it feels very weird when you don't have the ability to play the game within the game. Uh, there are a few other games that I get really annoying for like that for me, like uh, Oxygen Not Included and Don't Starve. Like Don't Starve, you have to look up the recipes unless you really want to just starve to death trying to guess at them. All right, Rune Tracer or Crown. Let's go Crown. The less XP needed, the better. Oh, happy days. That's so tasty. Wait. We really can't get any more things? Like what? Are you going to stop throwing enemies at me or what, game? 
Really, it is. It is gonna stop giving me enemies, I guess. That's nuts. I broke the game, guys. I broke the game. <laughs> this is weird. Like, how can it keep escalating if it's not gonna give me more stuff? I don't get this. Evolved garlic. Okay, so that's gonna give us a lot more damage around us. The Soul Eater is significantly more damage. It has a much, much higher DPS than the garlic does. But look at how far my pickup range is on stuff. You can see, like, some of the stuff on the left here. I'm gonna go that way. Actually, I'll go to the right because we've had this area that we've been farming the whole time, and we'll just go that way, I think. Wow. This is super, super powerful. Oh my god, now we have these, like... Are those bosses? I guess they're not boss bats. They can't be boss bats. I'm just gonna try to get out of this mess. Kill my way out of it. It's a bit scary seeing all those, like, mini-bosses or mini-boss-looking things. Obviously, they're not bosses because they're not giving us any loot, but... Jeez, this is kind of nuts. I like nuts games like this, though. They're fun. They're just, like, crazy to see all of the escalation and stuff. It's like, wow. Cool. Yeah, this game... I, I find so, so fun to play. It's just fun. I'll just, like, chill out after I've done, you know, my work for the day or whatever. I'll just chill and play this game a bit. And that's what I was doing, actually, before I started this episode. But then I had this crazy run that I really wanted to show you. And obviously, it's very duplicatable. So it's something that yeah, we can look forward to. Okay, so definitely want to save a, a slot for... Ooh, okay, let's move, move, move. They're closing in. They're closing in. Be careful. Um, Got to save a sl slot maybe for that damage upcre up upcrease. Oh my god. Increase thing. <laughs> upcrease. I like that. That sounds like <laughs> some, some new fancy way of folding your clothes or something. An upcrease. Yes. Upcrease. Different than the downcrease. I feel immortal almost. I'm probably not, so I'm going to be also very careful, but... Whoa! What the heck is this thing? Okay, I'm just... Oh! No, no, no! Crap. Stage completed! What? I thought I died. Well, I couldn't get away from it. It was, like, stuck to me. So I decided to just, like, face upward. Quit? What? Two unlocks. Evolve the magic wand. Okay, got that one. Defeat the giant blue Venus. So we got a hyper mad forest. What is that? Ooh, hyper mad forest. All right, we got a new thing here. But it looks like we have no more time in this episode. So also check out the uh, the thingies. Uh, Rune Tracer, 1.3 million damage. That's nuts. But Thousand Edge, those are our knives. Did lots of work. Definitely. Holy Wand also did a ton of work. Really high DPS on those. So Rune Tracer, even though we had the Lightning Ring for much longer... Seven minutes longer, Rune Tracer was twice the damage, which is kind of crazy. Uh, also, the Soul Eater, lots of DPS on that one, so worth getting that garlic. So, looks like that Holy Wand is pretty nice. Uh, let's see, Holy Wand is... Uh, let's see, Magic Wand plus Empty Tome. I always think of it as like a mage. Like, has a wand and a book, you know, spell book. So, empty tome, wand uh, for association. But I hope that is put in the game as in, like, something like, I don't know, even an icon that shows what evolves it on each thing. That would be nice. So, anyway, we did a thing. This is exciting. Uh, so, anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.